In this video, we'll talk about decentralized storage systems, compare them, and get the final verdict on which one to use depending on your use case. If you're new here, I'm Sarah. I'm a Web3 software developer, and I attempt to explain complex crypto concepts in a simplified manner. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the topic for today's video. Storage here is defined as the preservation of retrievable data on a computer or other electronic system. We use storage on a day-to-day -day basis from the computers and smartphones we use, and from the days of having to put files on a floppy disk to store, to now being able to put files in the cloud, storage has come a long way. Current solutions for cloud storage such as Google Drive and Dropbox still work great, but blockchain-based storage can offer data immutability, enhanced privacy, and better overall security. So let's talk about the current projects that are trying to tackle the decentralized storage problem. Filecoin, Arweave, and IPFS, the interplanetary file system. Filecoin is an open source cloud storage marketplace, protocol, and incentive layer. The most important word from Filecoin's little description is marketplace. Imagine current cloud storage services, but decentralized. Instead of having a company like AWS that manages the entire infrastructure all over the globe and levies a price for their services, Filecoin allows anybody to provide their storage capacities to other peers. It ensures a layer where both parties can sign a trustless contract that agrees on the storage period period, the amount of information stored, and the cost. Arweave is a new type of storage that backs data with feasible and long-lasting foundations, allowing users and developers to truly store data forever for the very first time. When it comes to Arweave, the defining word is permanently. Its main goal is to create incentives to ensure decentralized data storage over very long periods. This mechanism, as opposed to Filecoin, comes with a premium cost for the person who wants to store data on Arweave. To significantly simplify, you pay up front for two 200 years of storage, with the potential perk of having that particular piece of data stored for longer. The interplanetary file system is a distributed peer-to-peer -peer file sharing network that is well positioned to become the support of a new decentralized web. IPFS is a protocol instituted by Protocol Labs to create a new way to serve information on the internet. Currently, the internet works off of location-based addressing, where you go to a URL like substack.com, which has a certain IP, and then you get served your writings and articles. These URLs are pointed to specific servers around the world. What IPFS does is it serves information based on what it is rather than where it is. With their routing algorithms, you can determine where you get your content from, and you can set your privacy of what peers or nodes you trust to retrieve your files. File is actually built on top of IPFS, which is an open source protocol. In a way, one can consider Filecoin as the trustless economic layer that powers IPFS peer-to-peer -peer framework. So it basically comes down to making the right choice between Arweave and Filecoin. For the use case of data permanence, Arweave may be the accurate choice. But for short to medium storage use cases, Filecoin's price proposition may make it a better option. Because of the various steps involved in the data retrieval process, Filecoin storage currently meets similar performance bars as traditional warm or cold storage. To get performance that is similar to other hot storage solutions, most users utilize Filecoin with a caching layer such as IPFS. These hybrid and multi-tiered storage solutions use IPFS for hot storage and Filecoin for affordable, frequent, and versioned backups. In Arweave's case, you pay once and over time, you will expect that the number of miners that store your data will grow. It seems like these days more and more developers are choosing Arweave for its usability and accuracy over Filecoin. If this video was helpful for you, feel free to share it, like, subscribe, and let me know what other topics you'd like to see a video on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.